this. She's been here for the past one hour. Oh my God, time conscious. Now, in the African history class today, my brother, my sister, we're looking at some interesting thing. Now, the man whose photograph you see right here, Ferdinand Nahimana, he's a Rwandan historian and a genocide convict. In three minutes, his story will be dusted. <laughs> Ferdinand Yabo. Nahimana Yabo. was born on the 15th of June in 1950, seven years before this beautiful country, Ghana, gained independence. In fact, my brother, my sister, he was born in the community known as Ruhingari Province. My brother, my sister, he was born to rich parents. There was money in the house. In fact, he was one of the elite Rwandans. And he has been like that from when he was born. Ferdinand Nahimana. Now, when we talk about the elite, what are we talking about? We're talking about the bourgeoisie, the money people, the educated, the powerful. He was born in the Ruhingari Prefecture or Ruhingari Province of Rwanda in 1950, the 15th of June. My brother, my sister, and at a very early age, his bourgeoisie parents sent him to school to study hard. And he was a guru when it came to his studies. He studied so hard. My brother, my sister, he went to school both inside Rwanda and outside Rwanda. He holds a doctorate degree in history from the University of Paris de Dero. Paris de Dero. My brother, my sister, this is a well known university, also known as Paris 7 or Paris 7. My brother, my sister, it was a French university located in Paris, France. It was one of the historic universities in that country with so much regard. That's where he studied his history and grabbed a PhD in history. Now one more minute and we are done with this figure. My brother, my sister, he made a lot of money. Coming from a rich family as well, he was put in big business positions to make more money. He was one of the people who built the radio station in Rwanda that made history. But before I tell you about that, let's look at this interesting thing. Now, under the terms of the Arusha Peace Agreements, and when we talk about the Arusha Peace Agreements, what are we talking about? The peace agreement between the government of the Republic of Rwanda and the Rwandan Patriotic Front, the RPF. They came to a certain agreement to put down their arms and then share governmental power, right? He was nominated as Higher Education Minister for Culture and Scientific Research. Nahimana was a member of the National Republican Movement for Democracy and Development. Habi Arimana's political party. Remember how Habi Arimana himself died in a plane crash? My brother, my sister, we talked about him. We talked about his wife yesterday. Today we are talking about this figure called Ferdinand Nahimana. And this is the man. A professor of history. Now between 1979 and 1994, Nahimana was alleged to have written and published articles encouraging an uprising against the Tutsis. He himself being a Hutu, having been dismissed from the Rwandan National Radio, where he taught history and also talked about uh, the culture of his people, a year before the genocide in 1993, he took part in the creation of the RTLM, that radio station, my brother, my sister, that brought about the genocide. And its slogan was, the graves are not full yet. 
let all the cockroaches die. And by cockroaches, they meant the Tutsis. My brother, my sister, when the genocide actually came into being, he was one of the people, the first people that fled and went to France. My brother, my sister, he was trialed in the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda's media class. My brother, my sister, and what happened? He was convicted, my brother, my sister, of being part of the genocide. A 2010 book written by journalist and historian Harvey de Guin argues that the motives invoked in Nahimana's trial were based on very little evidence, except that he founded and was one of the owners of the radio station that brought about the genocide. My brother, my sister, in 2008, he was transferred from Arusha of Tanzania to Mali. And in 2016, he was released. He's now a free man. As we speak right now, he's been free for the past eight years. He went to jail, but came out of jail after serving time. This is a professor of history, a man who took part in the genocide of Rwanda. Even though he denies it, he only said he was part of the people that founded the radio station. And my name Block Rasta. I need a bedding of knowledge. I ask you now that you know what to do. 